Hi friends. So it's a really exciting day. We just got the keys to our new apartment. So I wanted to show you around. It is such a cool place. getting an unfurnished apartment. That wasn't our original plan um, because most places here seem to be furnished, but we were having trouble finding a place that suited our needs. So we opened up the search and we ended up with this fantastic apartment. So I'm standing right in front of the main door and when you walk in, this is what you see. Look at this view. It honestly hasn't even sunk in yet how amazing this is. Holy crap. So this is the port of Malaga. The windows are dirty. And right here is the area called Muele Uno, which is the pedestrian area of the port where there's shopping and restaurants and we have doors all the way along there's no actual balcony but honestly I'm not sure I'd want one this high up we're on what they know as the 16th floor but for us Canadians North Americans we would consider it the 17th floor um, here they only start counting on the second floor or what is the floor above ground level. So yeah, that makes it the 16th floor when you are on the elevator. I love that this place has these really neat exposed beams. So it takes it from being too modern and into a little bit of that industrial look. The walls are just a very neutral beige color and then this beautiful tile floor it's kind of dirty right now but i'm not sure it's coming through in the video i have a lot of cleaning to do i'm realizing it's pretty clean in here but it just needs a good old scrub before we can do anything so here's the front door and to the right of the door is the entrance phone that allows people to come into the building. Our building also has a front desk with a concierge and there's actually three different concierges and they um, are working from I think it's 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. every day. Uh, and then beside the front door we have what is a coat closet. I'm assuming that's what it's for. It's pretty big, it has some drawers that you can use for whatever you want, and a rack for hangers. And then if we go to the first, I guess it's a bedroom, we have another view. So this kind of faces, um, I would say it faces more to the north east. Yeah, that would be the northeast. So it's along the same wall as the living room but it's just viewing more into the city. And this is Almeida Cologne, which is the name of the street. Look at those palm trees, it's pretty cool, eh? It's a fairly busy street, but because we're up so high, you can't really hear the street noise that much. What I'm hearing more is like the sound of the boards, like big boats and stuff. But honestly, it's, it's kind of like just white noise. You can't really hear any specific sounds, so I don't find it bothersome. We'll see what it's like at night. So these two massive sets of doors open up as well. So the reason we weren't too concerned about not having a balcony is that firstly, it's so high up, and secondly, these doors do open up. So if we really want tons of fresh air, we can get it. And it just allows you to kind of hear the sounds of the city. If we open up this door. Gotta be very careful not to drop my phone here because I know it wouldn't survive this kind of a fall. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> this is gonna keep us amused for quite a while, just looking at this view. And we haven't seen it at night yet, but supposedly Malaga at night is gorgeous, especially because we have a clear view of the port. 
Also, if you look, uh, if you look like right here at that mountain is Hebrel Faro, which is the mountain where they have the castle at the top. And then below it, you can see, let me see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the Alcazaba and then whew, backwards Alcazaba and then up here is Hibrafar. And over here, the tallest steeple there is the um, is the cathedral. Both massive popular landmarks in Malaga. So in this room, I think we'll be making it into an office. So I'm thinking a desk on this wall because these closet doors are sliders, which means that we don't need any clearance for them to open. I love that they have massive closets in every room. So this place is a three bedroom, which means that we have more closets than we're gonna need, which is an amazing problem to have. So there's where the desk will go, I think. This is all kind of up in the air, but I'm imagining a desk here. On this wall right here, I wanna put a Calax shelf from Ikea, which is one of the cube shelves, and then make this kind of a workout area where we can put our yoga mats and a little bit of workout gear. And yeah, probably put some hooks here or something. I'm not really sure, but I don't wanna clutter the place up too much just yet. I'm sure that'll happen eventually. So when we come out of this room, uh, straight ahead from the living room is the master bedroom. So let's take a minute first to appreciate these closets. Oh my God, this is amazing. So it's two full closets. I noticed earlier when I was poking around that this one has the shelf on the bottom a little bit lower so you can hang taller things like dresses. And this one doesn't have any drawers. This one here has drawers. So I'm gonna have to work it out with Trevor, but at the moment I'm kind of thinking this should be my closet and he can use, he can use the one in the, in the office area. And that's what we've been doing at our current apartment. His clothes are in the second bedroom, so it's been working out fine. We'll see, he may have something to say about that, but I think it would work great. So we have balcony doors, again, these fully open. And we have blackout shades above the doors for blocking out light. And pretty much the similar view of the room next door where you can see over here, that's the doors that we just saw in the office area. This one has just a teeny tiny little kind of Juliet balcony, but it's not big enough to do anything with. It's only about a foot deep. One thing I love here is that they put the plugs at the height of your furniture, so you don't need long dangling cords. And there's switches that control the overhead light. So as much as I love lamps, and we'll definitely be getting some, the nice thing is you can flick on the light right from laying in bed, which is amazing. So the room's not that big, honestly. Uh, when I measured it, I think it was four by four meters. Everything here is in metric, which as a Canadian, I understand metric, but I also think in feet and inches when I'm dealing with sizing and measurements. So yeah, it's a little bit new to get used to. So this is the master bathroom. We've got a bidet and I was just telling my family, I'm gonna have to see, I've used one before, but I don't know if I did it right. So I'm gonna have to do some research to figure out how the heck to use this. We actually have two of these. There's one in the master bathroom and one in the main bathroom. There's the toilet, of course, a huge mirror. And then we have a shower stall with a big rain head and a handheld shower head as well. And, and then beside that, we have a bathtub. I'm super excited that we have a bathtub. In fact, we have two bathtubs in this place. You'll also notice that the beam is exposed in here as well, which I really love. And it means there's extra places to hang things. They put a hook there and I'm sure I can get some more of those. And then in the bathtub, there's also a handheld shower. I don't know that anybody would even use this as a shower, why would you? But I guess if you're soaking in the tub and you wanna wash your hair, that's kind of convenient. And then we also have a double sink. And I'm not used to having very much storage in my bathroom. So I'm super excited about these massive drawers in the bathroom. 
I do plan to get a makeup table vanity sort of thing for in the bedroom. So I probably won't need to store my makeup and stuff in here, but that kind of remains to be seen. I'm so excited that there's a place to at least put like toiletries and things. The other thing is this place has central air conditioning slash heating, it's a heat pump, and the bedroom has its own controller and its own, I believe its own heat pump unit. So I love that because we can make the bedroom really cold at night without making the rest of the apartment really cold and that'll keep costs down because we do like for it to be set around 18 when we're sleeping at night, we like it cold. And apparently when it gets to be more into winter here, it'll cool off outside enough at night that we can maybe leave the doors open if it's not too loud or just not have the, the heat or AC on at all. Um, yeah, so this is the main bathroom. So for context, if you're walking from the living room and straight ahead, that is the master, that's the office, and this is the main bathroom. So again, we have a double sink here, the same exact one as in the master a huge mirror, towel rack. Another thing, they put the, the um, outlets really high here and there's two of them, which is awesome. And then we have another bathtub and a bidet. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to use one of those because I haven't mastered the technique yet. And then um, we can go down this long hallway, which takes us to the kitchen. Uh, we've got something here that is pretty much absolutely unheard of in Malaga, and it's a storage room. So most apartments here are way too small to sacrifice a space just for storage. But this is like in a typical North American apartment building, a newer one where they would have an, a an actual room for storage. And this is going to be awesome because we have a lot of suitcases because um, that's how we brought our belongings with us, only six of them, and they're set up so that we have three suitcases and then uh, one that's a nesting suitcase and a duff two duffel bags. So it's three suitcases, it's not like massive, but it's taking up so much space in our current place because there's nowhere to put it. Okay, here is the laundry room again. It is so rare for a place to have a dedicated laundry room here, and this one is big. So, when we first toured the place, we were told that this is a service door. So if you go into the main hall by the elevator, this is actually a door that opens into the hallway. And apparently it's for when the maid comes. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be quite that bougie that we're making our maid come in through a separate door, but it's great because you can take garbage out that way. I don't know if we'll use it, but it's there. And then we have a laundry sink and cabinetry under the sink, which again is awesome for storage of cleaning supplies. And da 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 da, we have a washer that is also a built-in dryer. And we didn't know for sure that we would also have a dryer. And this is absolutely thrilling because it means we don't have to hang up every single load of laundry to dry and be crispy when it's done. So we can throw our wash in and set it accordingly and then it'll just dry and everything all in one go. I have no idea how to use it, but luckily I think they left the manuals for everything behind. As we're coming down the hall towards the kitchen, if you hang a right, you get to the, the guest bedroom. It'll be what we use for guests. On the way to the guest bedroom, there are closets on both sides. And my, well, I don't know, there's 20 things I love about this place, but this one could be near the top. And it's the fact that it is a shoe closet, like literally, a closet that's perfectly sized for shoes. Like how great is that? Because I'm going bonkers right now in our current place, trying to find room for the shoes because we have no storage there. And then on this side, again, another closet. Um, I, we certainly don't have enough stuff to fill all these closets, which is an awesome problem to have. But as we live here longer, eventually we will end up collecting things that need to go places. So here we are in the guest bedroom and inside the door. Oh, here's another cool feature. So the door stops here. Why have they not moved this idea to Canada? The door stopper, you can see it stops the door, is also a door, um, what do you call these things? Oh my God, I can't even think what it's called, but you know, so that the door stays either open or you flip this to the side and then it closes. Like, Genius, absolutely genius. The Europeans know what's up. This is a closet in the guest bedroom. 
guests have more storage, frankly, than we do in our master. And if this bedroom didn't have the smaller windows, we would actually consider making this the master because it ultimately has just as much or more in front, as far as storage goes. But the room itself is a tiny bit smaller and it doesn't have a view, so we'll keep it as a guest bedroom. It's a fairly small room. I measured it and it's almost a square. Uh, this one's a little weird. I think it's set up maybe that you would use two twin beds in here. But we're just going to go ahead and get a queen size bed or a 160 centimeter bed as they like to call it here. They don't really seem to use king, queen, double, etc. Um, they go by measurements. And then the view out this way is like, it's actually, you can kind of see the canal which is cool. It looks disgusting right now because the water's so low. It just looks like sludge. But yeah, when it's spring, that water will be a lot higher and it'll be a nice fresh water flow. So they put nets up over this area so birds can't get in. The next room is the bathroom off of the guest room, which is an ensuite. So it's just across from the closets at the entryway. It has a single sink, a toilet, and this really cool walk-in shower stall. And like the others, it has a rainfall water head, rainfall shower head, and a handheld one, and it's fully tiled. So the other thing we never seem to do in showers here is put anywhere to set your stuff. You end up having to put your shampoo and everything on the floor, which I really hate. So I kind of see if I can get one of those tension rod things that you can use as a shelf. It goes from the floor to the ceiling and has like three or four shelves on it. I'm sure I must be able to get that somewhere. I just have to do some research. So there's one plug here and the same as the other bathrooms, there's storage inside the vanity. So these door handles are kind of cool. They're like very curved. They feel nice on the hand. So now, la pièce de résistance. I have no idea how to say that phrase in Spanish, so don't ask. Da, 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 da. Here's my kitchen, our kitchen. It has these white shiny cabinets. It's huge. And cabinets on three walls, like what? This is so much bigger than I'm used to. Our kitchen in Canada wasn't tiny, but it certainly wasn't big. So, a couple things. This fridge, haha, <laughs> it's a fridge with a gajillion butt. It's also a freezer. So it has a separate full freezer. I don't even know what the heck we're gonna put in here because there's so much storage. And the nice thing about this is that all of it is drawers, which is genius. Then we have a microwave here. It's brand new. I don't know if it was here when the last tenants were here or not, but it's pretty new. Then we have what I would say is where we're gonna put probably our like cutlery. I really don't even know yet where we're gonna have, arrange everything in the kitchen, but we've got some shallow drawers, some medium drawers, like cupboards for days, my God. Because I'm starting from scratch, it's gonna take me a long time to even fill this up, not that we need to. Over here we have, next to the doorway, we have what I would call a china cabinet area. So in this spot, there are glass shelves. Um, right here we have a another huge cabinet. Oh, and this is another thing. And I think Ikea mainly is the place you can do this. But what they do is, this is a drying rack. So it's right above the sink. So you can, in theory, put away your wet dishes up here. And it's like a rack where you can actually store your plates or you can just put them there while they're drying. This is a really shallow cabinet. But what I like about it is that it um, is gonna be great to use as a coffee bar. Like I think I could see Trevor's um, Nespresso machine going here and the kettle. Just be great to have all the coffee stuff here and there's there's drawers on this side and a cabinet too where we can store the coffee related things 
Um, the lower cabinets on this side are shallow as well. They're the same depth as the uppers, which I really like because it makes the room feel bigger. And then there's two of these. They're corner cabinets, but they're realistic corner cabinets that you can actually use. So it has this pull-out drawer. So you can access every inch of this cabinet without getting on your hands and knees and digging around in the back. Like, just amazing. Then there's, you know, there's the dishwasher. It's made to look like it's a cabinet, so it blends right in. I always forget that it's the dishwasher. One of my other favorite features of this place is that it has an actual gas stove. So I'm really excited because I love to cook and having gas just makes that even more fun. So there's the range hood and this oven. And this is a massive oven for Malaga standards. Like usually they are a good um, one third smaller in width. The other thing I was really surprised about is that this is actually a drawer. Usually when you have an electric or gas stove, um, a counter mounted one, it seems to me you don't typically have access to the space right below it, that there's like controls and stuff, but however they've arranged it, there's a cabinet there. And then on the bottom, there's another cabinet. That's where you would put your cookie sheets and stuff. And then there's another little cabinet here that pulls out. That would be a perfect place to put, I guess your oils and vinegars and that kind of stuff. I'm loving there's so much cabinet space because now I can keep my counters completely bare or at least as bare as possible. This is the view that we get so there's this big window that can be opened and actually this one can be opened too. In here we have our hot water heater. So it's, I believe this is on demand hot water. Like, holy crap, this is a huge kitchen. So my plan is to get a kitchen cart. Not that I need more counter space or even an island, but I want to make some cooking videos. And I feel like if I were to put a kitchen cart here in the middle, I've got one picked out from Ikea just a nice little wooden cart on wheels. I can tuck it away when I'm not using it and cause I, it would probably just get in the way. And then I can have it facing the window like this so that I have a nice window light coming in and it'll make it easier to film cooking videos. Behind me in the video would just be this view, which is pretty cool. The whole place is about 1900 square feet or so. And it's controlled by this thermostat for the central air and heat. Took us a minute to figure out how to turn it on, but it's working pretty good now. And we're back to the living room. So today I'm just here kind of getting acquainted with the place and trying to figure out what to do about furniture. Yeah, so I'm here just looking at measurements. I bought a laser tape measure, so I took the perimeter measurements of this place and I'm just trying to figure out where we're going to put all the furniture. I'm, I'm envisioning this side of the room to be the living room and then over here to be where we put the dining room. Like can you imagine sitting here eating supper with this view especially in the evening when it's starting to get dark and as it gets darker into the fall and winter it'll be dark earlier in the day so supper will always be in the dark. And we'll be just looking out on this view and all the beautiful lights of the city. I can't believe it. Like, this is just unreal. Anyway, that's the tour of our amazing new apartment. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm.